Hey guys, welcome to another episode of The Dance Podcast with Haley, Reagan, and Anila, and our special guest, senior athlete, Arthur Kroon. Arthur, how are you feeling today? Um, I'm feeling good, you know. That's good, that's good. So before we get started, can you just give a brief explanation on what your perspective on dance being a sport is? Um, dance is like, I think dance is like a tough sport. Not everybody can do it, and I think those people that dance is very different. I don't, I don't know how you can do it. I don't, I don't know. Well, thank you. Thank you for that. Um, the first topic that we're going to cover is the physical fitness of everything. So, you know, Haley and Nyla and I, we all dance, and we know that you do football and run track. So just talk about the practices. We're going to talk about the practices, performances and shows, competitions, games. So, Haley, why don't you start us off with what the physical fitness for your type of dance looks like? Yeah, so I have a full hour of conditioning every week, and I have technique classes that I take throughout the week that also contain conditioning. And for me, I have lifting twice a week for 45 minutes. So for me, mine is pretty similar to Haley's, as you're going to hear me say several times throughout the length of this episode. Um, but I have conditioning classes as well. It kind of d- differentiates sometimes because we have a new artistic director, and you know, classes are just different, but I do have conditioning classes and then I take yogas on Saturday okay so with that being said Arthur you play football and run track what is the physical fitness and training you do for your sports um well first off we lift three times a week and um we do agility stuff for track we just not always lift it we do like stretches yoga also to keep our body loose and fresh for tournaments on the weekend meets and stuff so yeah Okay, so the second topic we are going to be covering is the time that we put into our sports. With that being said, I train five to seven days out of the week for various hours, and during competition season, I dance up to all seven days of the week. I train four days out of the week. Like I said, I lift twice, and I have practice twice. Once again, mine is similar to Haley's. I train five out of seven days a week for several hours, and during performance season, the hours and the days increase, and they vary depending on that. So, like, recently we just got out of performance season, and we did the Nutcracker, but we were literally at the theater all seven days this week, and we were there for such a long time. I actually had to take a break off of school for a week because I got sick, but everything is just, like, I definitely think that all of us can agree that the emotional well-being is along with the physical well-being and you know your well-being just in general is taken a toll on because of how rigorous the training is um so can you input your your uh your schedule what your schedule looks like for football and track um so mondays we live usually live then it's usually like seven days a week watch film um but we usually practice all seven days sundays is usually like a walkthrough film see what we messed up on, see what we did, and watch opponent scouts, stuff like that. Okay. Okay, so the final topic we are going to be covering is how we balance activities outside of sports, such as the balance of school, fun, and jobs. So Haley and I, again, both have very similar (laughs) schedules throughout the week. Um, With fun, it's kind of like you schedule fun in. You would think you schedule dance or you schedule like the physical aspect of dance, but when really you schedule fun. So sometimes I will call my friends like a week in advance and be like, hey, why don't we go to the movies next week after all of this is over, which is insane. But I mean, it's the life that I chose to live. So, (laughs) And for me, I usually work after practice and I'll always have the weekends off. So, Arthur, after hearing that, how would you say you balance your life outside of the sports that you play? Um, when I have free time, I usually do homework or sleep or get an extra workout in if, if I'm not doing nothing. But, yeah, that's what I do with my sp- free time. Okay, so with that being said, you know, after listening to all of us talk about dance, has your perspective of it being a sport changed? Yes, actually. Because I think, because we all do the same thing. Y'all just don't do as, like, I would say not as much and not as physical. But you guys still do, like, y'all guys work out. You guys, there are seven days a week, five days a week. Mm -hmm. And I think it's put a toll on your body as well. And y'all go through the same thing we do, but not, like, as long, you know. 
I get it. I, I do want to, if I could just like add this quick little story. So I was at, before the performance, I definitely say maybe the night before, we had just finished a full run through of the show. It was maybe like nine o'clock. It was what I considered to be late. And we, I had just got done with my dance. I have the longest dance in the entire show. It's about eight minutes long. And because we were so focused on dance, I hadn't eaten, I had hardly slept, I wasn't really drinking water. And so after everything was over, my whole body just started to shake and I could not stand up, I couldn't walk. So they literally had to pick me up and go sit me down on the chair. It was, it was really, really bad. But that's when I realized that, hey, Reagan, you know, water is important. People told me, you gotta eat, you gotta you know, nourish your system in order to be able to do this as rigorously as you, know, you would like to. So that's just my perspective, especially having to experience it more than seven days a week and as rigorously as we do it. But with that being said, that's a wrap on today's episode. First, we'd like to thank you, Arthur, for taking the time out to contribute to such a fruitful conversation. Make sure you guys go check out www.thedancepodcast for scholarship opportunities regarding all athletes. We wish you the best of luck in your future football endeavors. And thank you all for listening. See you next week on The Dance Podcast.